Anderson Cooper 360, weeknights at 8 and 10 on CNN. Oh yes, time for the ridiculous. And tonight we have the story of a man in Tennessee and his beloved raccoon. It's a story really of two raccoons, actually. Once upon a time, there was a raccoon named Gun Show. A while back, Mark Brown posted a video online of he and Gun Show dancing to what else but Aretha Franklin's Chain of Fools. <laughs> Now, sadly, that particular raccoon has gone on to the great gun show in the sky. He passed away in January. But four months later, a new raccoon came into Mr. Brown's life and apparently into his bathtub as well. Now, normally when a masked bandit shows up in your bathroom, it's not a good day. But this is Rebecca, a raccoon that he bottle fed, kept as a pet, and yes, at least one time showered with. Touch my darling on my shoulder, all sudsed up, me and her both. You shampoo your cat, you shampoo your dog, I shampooed my raccoon. Now, is it just me or I shampooed my raccoon totally sounds like euphemism? For what? I don't know. I leave that up to you. Anyway, all I'm saying is that it's rare to hear that sort of a sentence used in a, a literal way. Sadly, though, these days Mr. Brown is showering alone because the Tennessee Wildlife Resources Agency took Rebecca away because it's illegal to keep a wild animal as a pet. Mr. Brown doesn't quite see it that way. I'm trying to get her out of captivity and keep her from this. And this, I have done nothing wrong but save something from a certain death. What I did should not be condemned. It should be commended. She would not be here today had it not been for me. Well, now he's appealing to the governor to bring his little baby home, and he blames the whole thing on the cruel mistress of Internet fame. Now I, that I have become a big fish, They've come after me to take Rebecca away from me. Governor, just give me my permit, give me my pardon, and I'll shut up. I ask God every night for two things. Either free Rebecca back to me, or let me just forget about it. That beard is amazing. Look, I've said it before, I will say it again. It's hard not to be sympathetic when a grown man who looks like he's in ZZ Top waxes poetic about his pet raccoon. I'm not made of stone. I bleed. I cry. I'm also generally not fond of people keeping wild animals as pets, but there did seem to be a unique bond there. So when it comes to this particular raccoon controversy, you make the call on the ridiculous.